In this video, I'm showing you the process of creating an underdrawing and then transferring that over to the canvas before I start my oil painting. The whole purpose of this step is to actually help you figure out the problems before you ever get to the canvas. So it's essentially going to save you materials, save you time, and save you a lot of frustration. I go ahead and put in a lot of effort up front. Uh, I put in 17 hours into this whole drawing process and transfer process and that is to help ensure that I'm going to get the result. So my drawing is going through a lot of stages. I have the initial block in stage, then I start positioning things, I make adjustments, I start establishing muscle groups and, and anatomy, then I head in to finish the final detailing in charcoal, and once everything's established I will go ahead and spray the drawing sealing that charcoal in. Then I flip my paper over Go ahead and coat it with two to three coats of vine charcoal, smoothing it out, and that's going to create a transfer paper. I am then going to go ahead and put this up on a totally dry canvas. My canvas was toned several days ago, so there's no danger of the oil paint transferring or rubbing off. So now I'm going to try to tape it up. This can be a <laughs> quite a process. Um, my methodology probably needs to shift on this, so I probably would lay my canvas down on a flat surface next time while trying to tape this up. It just makes it easier. Um, I added extra tape to reinforce it, make sure everything stays exactly where I need it to be, because when you start tracing over, you don't want anything moving. You don't want any lines shifting. You don't want uh, anything to cause blurred lines. You want to keep them as clean as possible. So I'm coming in with um, a red pencil to trace over the top of everything. I'm using my red pencil, so it's completely different color. So I'm seeing where I've already traced over my lines. There's no guesswork involved. I already know where I've worked. While I'm drawing, I'm using my moss stick to keep my hand off the surface of the drawing. That does two things. It prevents me from spreading and smearing this new line work. And it also keeps me from leaving an impression of my hand on the vine charcoal underneath. You just want to keep uh, all extra marks to an absolute minimum. At this point, you may be still thinking this is a completely unnecessary step, and in a lot of cases it may be. In college, I didn't use this method at all. Um, we relied on the efficiency of the oil paint itself and just directly drawing with the paint onto the canvas. We did our underpaintings with the oil paint alone, with no preliminary drawings or transfers. Um, the reason I'm doing it for this series though is there's a lot of precise line work that I don't want to cut short and honestly just for these pieces, these three pieces, it's going to be most efficient for me. So this is a series I'm working on. Um, there will be three of these spiders and so I want to make sure that I'm portraying it to the full effectiveness as possible. Now that I've checked that the transfer is complete, I come in and redraw one last time with my oil paint. So this is a spike oil and burnt sienna oil paint mixture. The reason for this is it will not rub off. The vine charcoal as you work and as you paint is going to rub off and I also will not spray my canvas with a workable fixative because that messes up the binding process between the oil paint layers. So I end up drawing again. So I'm effectively redrawing this image three times before I ever start into the fully rendering with oil paint. You've probably already concluded that oil painting is a lengthy process and you are not wrong. I love this about oil paints. I am a person who loves very methodical work, very tedious work, and the reason I love oil painting so much is because it is a process. You have the, um, the drawing, the rendering, the layering, the, there's the chemistry side of it, there's the molecular level of paint. There's so much that goes into this that you could spend an entire lifetime mastering these materials. Not only that, but you're also partnering this with the elements of art and principles of design to tell the story, the concept behind the painting. And that, my friends, is a whole nother video. I hope you're able to glean some helpful information from this. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this, and I will see you for the next video.